and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 3. I'm your host, the RPG guy. <laughs> Alright. Enough of that. Okay, so. Things to know. Let us, um, we've actually, just things to know, things that you need to know. We need to find the four statues. Openly, it's easier said than done. A lot easier said than done. But, some of them are easy. Two of them, specifically, are actually very easy to find. Um, but let's do this really quick and see if there's anything to harvest. Five Holy Root. We're going to breed the five of those back in. For obvious reasons. Keeping one in case of emergency. Because we gotta get this pretty strong. We'll do nine revive fruits here. Again, we can always grow more revive fruits. Um, now, here's the deal. Okay, revive fruit is maxed out. Sweet. We'll do eight full carrots. Unless they stop us. Anything that max breeds the full carrots going to be good, because that means it just breeds it faster. We don't need more than 30 at any given time, because you're never going to use more than 30 at any given time. We're going to go to an area probably in this episode, give or take, and actually burn through a lot of these and still have probably some left over. But we'll stop at 40. That's good enough for me. All right. So we've done some breeding. <laughs> breeding. <laughs> so goddess idol or the goddess idol we're gonna go for that one first why because we kind of already have it that's not a joke we kind of already have it and we have it because we had to get to the inner sea and we found an item that i kind of made jokes of i don't know if i made no, did i make a joke about it i might have and it's there the suitcase an item found in balal kunaga's nest so whoops so if you haven't gone to the inner sea yet for whatever reason, you need to do it now. Head back to Jolly Roger. Uh, and we need to find... What was her name? Uh, what was her name? Oh my goodness. It's a me oh, I think it's Amelia, not Hannah. It's one of the ladies in town. Hey, can I ask you something? Where did you get that trunk? I see. So he's, he's... Now you know why there's no ship here. The ship carrying my dear Mario was sunk by the foul Bella Quinaga. Of course, deep down inside, I knew he didn't make it, but I was never certain. But I just couldn't let him go. So I worked on Sandcraft. So I worked on Sandcraft as much as I could. I worked on Sandcrafts as much as I could, I guess. I wanted to avenge him, though I still hoped I would find him out there. But now, I thank you for slaying the beast and for returning this to me. As I took it to my gratitude, I want to give you one of Mario's things. An odd-looking statue, isn't it? But it doesn't seem sinister to me. I think it looks kind. Well, that settles it. I want you to have it. Oh, that Mario. Anyway, bringing the weirdest thing home, things home, I never knew what to do. But it reminds me so much of him, that's why I want you to have it. So we get the goddess idol. The easiest one to get. What are we doing on cash? Meh. How much is the upgrade for attack at this point? 96,000, huh? Okay, we're almost there. We're not going to get... Well, we'll probably get to that, actually. Relatively soon. Alright. We got the goddess idol. Easy to find. Not a problem. We're doing these in order of difficulty, by the way. As far as I'm concerned. that That is dictating the order that we get these done. The next one is actually located... Um, in a place that we know of, strangely enough. And I'm not kidding. If we talk to people, you know, I'll, you know, I'll show you how you find this out, actually. Um, we can go to Claire Claiborne, and we can go to, um, I want to say, uh, somebody in Boot Hill even references it. And I even want to say somebody at the at Little Twister also references it. But since Claiborne is pretty close, we'll just go over there first. We go over to Claiborne. I'm already going the wrong way. We 
go to Claiborne. And where is she at? Girl with the short shorts. Come to me, short shorts. Have y'all heard about the story about the guardian idol of desire? She mentioned this earlier to us. It's an artifact that supposedly makes his owner rich. I heard that an idol was bought by a wealthy merchant named Wheatley from East Highlands. He's supposed to bought it off of someone in this village. But I hear the guardian of desire is pretty fickle. He won't stay too long with one owner. I wonder where the idol is now. So he's, they're talking about the Highlands. So they're talking about the grass area. Well, there's not that many towns in the grass area. So obviously they're talking about Boot Hill. Now, what, is, what do wealthy people do? Okay, what do they do? They usually buy really big houses. If I was wealthy, that would not be what I do. But wealthy people in general buy mansions. Do we know of a mansion or a large house in the area of, let's say, Boot Hill, because it's the only other big green area around? Yes, we do. We've been to it. You might think, oh, you mean the inn where Virginia's folks are. No, no, no. It's its own location. It is actually the Gob Hideout. I know that's weird, isn't it? But it is actually Gob's Hideout. It's in a mansion that they used as a base. It's neat how there's little lore things going on with that. Now, when we were here last, there was an actual area we had no ability to, you know, reach. But we can reach it now, and you bet your ass we're going to do it. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything else for the moment. And... Avoid all the battles that the game will let us. And we're looking for a very specific room. I always forget exactly what room it is. But I believe it's far in the back in comparison to where we currently are. It's not in here. Yeah, that's part of the puzzle. We couldn't go in there, I don't think, before. Yes, here we go. This is where we want to be. <laughs> oh, damn, excuse me. And we get the wolf idol, the tiny flower. And a gimel coin. And there's a book in here if you care. Alright. So now we can leave. See, second easiest one. Oh, wait, did I pass this? Well, I'm glad I freaking came back. That would have been weird. Looking for chests later and been like, did I miss one? Oh, I missed that one. Oh, wait, we had to have missed that one because this is the only way back to the main hallway. Got it. <laughs> I'm like, the thing is sitting there going, did I miss one? No. A duplicator? I don't remember a duplicator that early in the game. And then obviously, we couldn't have gotten it that early in the game. <laughs> So now we need to get out of this dump, I mean this wonderful place. Now the next one's a little trickier to find. It's a wee bit trickier. Because we gotta find a town and we gotta find an item. And technically I don't believe you have to find the item, but see, I was having trouble earlier with that. So I'm gonna go under the assumption we gotta find the item, okay? And we have to find it through an activity in a town we haven't been to yet. No joke. Um, and so to find this dump, I mean this wonderful place, takes a little bit of work. And where are we related to that? Okay. So the easiest way to kind of get there is 
to really just go kind of this way. And what you'll notice as we come out here is a bit of railroad. Weird, isn't it? It is. And if we land... I could have done this a little earlier, but I chose against it. Actually, we need to go further south. If I'm not mistaken. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Let me think, actually. Um, I know it's over here somewhere. Gunner's Heaven. Yay. We can buy any of these things if we need to. We don't really need to right now. But before we do anything, for crying out loud, we're going to save. So, Balak... I'm sorry. Gunner's Heaven. I don't want to mention the other place yet. <laughs> uh, what you need to know... Is that there's an arena and we're gonna beat the crap out of it we have to beat all opponents within 25 turns and we get the item scope and that's the item that I was really looking for I kind of needed earlier in the game when I wanted to look for overworld stuff and then I kind of brain farted and said fuck it let's just do it later so we really need to prepare yourselves for the knowledge division cut your way through five battles in 25 turns or less for a fantastic prize Best of luck, challengers. Get ready. Fight! Um, this isn't going to be too big of an issue because we can just Mystic Full Carrots and just Beast Mode everything in sight. But for right now, we're going to just gang up on one of these fools. So it should take us two turns per battle, so ten rounds, maybe. Depends on how well we do. We're pretty beefed out. We could, and if we came here earlier, we'd be it'd be a little harder to accomplish this. Hence why we didn't do it earlier. I thought about coming here earlier and just get the item scope kind of earlier than I usually get it. But a part of me was like, yeah, but if you start getting killed in those battles or you can't get through them fast enough, you're going to get really pissed off, which is true. I would get really pissed off. And it would def literally defeat the purpose of you know doing it. And we can actually spend some extra time killing these guys off. If it means anything. And the reason why is because we'll kill the other battles even faster, I think. Give or take. He's one shot from death, pretty much. As you can see, we're, our agility is pretty high. They're having a hard time hitting us. And even when they do, they don't do any damage. So that's two rounds. That's pr probably, they're probably going to count that as the third round. This fool full of lead. Okay. Let's go ahead and full carrot. Extension Valiant. 
May as well keep him ready for the next fight. Should kill him. And he's down. One of these. Yeah, that's the problem. Actually, what we could do with Jet either Jet or even Gallows. That's bronzing. That's bad. I have an idea. Or glass or whatever. Bronze, I think. Yeah, they're bronzing everybody. Alright, we gotta change up our plan here. Go ahead and summon. And there it goes. I should have just opened with that. But it's done in two rounds. We gotta fix the bronze. And there's not much left we gotta do here, so... Let's, re let's heal that bro the bronze that's going on. Status protection, nice. He's fast, as you noticed. Or as you may have noticed. Gatling. I knew it wore off. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Hopefully, maybe Clive will get the kill. Nope. Knew we were gonna. I told you we were gonna use a lot of full carrots here. 
Oh, at least a lot more than we're accustomed to using. Well, this fight probably is about four or five rounds. So that, you don't usually want to go more than that, but we shaved off enough from earlier rounds that it shouldn't be a problem. And I screwed up my ability to get them done in two rounds because I wasn't thinking. So, that is what it is. That's going to be how it's going to be. Should be enough to kill it. Okay, one more battle, I think. Let's see. Yep. See if we can take him out. Got him. Yeah, you get nothing for this at all. Fantastic. The challengers break past all five skirmishes until the turn limit. So glad to see them succeed, and I'm sure Lord Baguchi is too. Now, we've awarded them for their impressive victory. Antidotes, berries, fruit, potion berry, item scope, and five grand. It's never the way to do champion to come and test their met their metal. So remember, ask your friends and loved ones if they've got what it takes to be the champion. All right, so we get the item we really came here for, which was the item scope. Let's go ahead and recover. And then we'll save. Because we don't want to go through that again. Yeah, it burned a lot of our um, full carrots, so we're probably at some point going to need to get those back. But we're still working on the Holy Root, and we are going to do the tr the trick to max out Holy Root, or at least get Holy Root underway, and then we'll get our we'll start working on full carrots again. So that's all squared away. We can leave now. We need to do something else. We need now that you might have thought I was going to get the 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 idol from there, but that's not really the case. We need the item scope for obvious reasons. Um, where to go? Okay. Good. All right. I'm thinking of Wild Arms One. I just realized that all of my problems finding overworld stuff. I was thinking of Wild Arms One. We need to go to. Uh, Humphreys Peak. Go a little west of here. It's just selling us. Oh, that ended up in Little Rock. Because oh, it's across the sandway. We're back in Humphreys Peak. Yay! Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Since we're here, It's exciting when you spread open a map, Gob Gob. It's so also exciting when you cross off areas you've been to, Gob Gob. It's even more exciting when you complete the entire map, Gob Gob. Would you mind showing me your map, Gob Gob? Congratulations, Gob Gob. I traveled the entire map. A dedication and time is paid off, Gob Gob. Uncle Gob would like to give you a special something, Gob Gob. I've treasured it for years, and though it might be a little smelly, I'm sure it still works, Gob Gob. We get the EX file key. Them endgame rare items that many people covet. It means you've done something major in the game, though I would argue that that task of just, un, you know, exploring the open world is not that exhilarating or interesting, but that's what it takes to do it. Now, one of these dudes, and I forget which one specifically, gives us some info here. You know the gemstone came from the, to the northwest has a, another entrance? You don't say. He's not kidding. There is another one. It connects to an island that borders the inland and open seas. Okay. Okay. So, what does that mean? It means a couple things. First of all, we'll save. Again, not that we, because we need to, but because I want to. As we go and knock this all out. Yay! So we need to go to the Gemstone Cave, which would be located... Just north of us. In we go. Now, now that we're in here, what you need to know is there's actually an out. There's actually an outie. There's a place we did not really go to. But we're going to go to this time. Because we didn't go to it last time, of course. We don't need to fight anything. Unless you are substantially lower in levels, there's no reason to fight a single goddamn thing. we found a weird out here weird out my friend it's weird because of that valor is found all over the place just like the rocks at your feet alan smithy and there it is all right so we've done that. Now, good news aside, or some might even argue bad news aside, um, our migrant level is way too low. And I know where the last idol is, and it is in the place that is a, the place of nightmares. I'm not kidding. I hate going there. I hate everything about it. Most people who play Wild Arms games know what I'm talking about because this place does exist in other Wild Arms games, and it's also the home of that he who shall be mocked and open openly because I don't feel like normally naming him because I name him too much. But I'll say it's the home of Raguo Regala. Um, and in Wild Arms 3, they kind of make you actually go go there. 
to where he resides. You don't have a choice if you want to unlock the lords. Now, the, the guardian lords. But the thing is, is that all the encounters in there are absurdly difficult. Not absurdly... Okay, let me take that back. That's a bit hyperbolic. Um, it's, it's not that they're difficult. It's just that they're kind of high in difficulty level. With that said, it means that we got to be somewhat careful or we go and we find the stuff on the overworld now that we have the item scope. And me personally, I kind of like the sound of that. Now that we have the item scope, everything should be where I remember things being. And I shouldn't be having this goddamn problem we had last time. Because it was driving me fucking nuts. It was rough. Alright, but we're first things first, we're going to rest for free. Even though we may not need the rest, we're going to do it anyway. It speeds up time. And we're going to go and loot as much of the overworld as possible. We're going to find all kinds of things. We're going to find grab bags, migrant seals, duplicators, gela cards, lucky cards, all kinds of stuff. I forget everything else, but we're going to find a lot of stuff. Some of it we may have already found. So if something doesn't pop up after a couple of tries, chances are we found it already on accident. And yet we didn't need the item scope. So I don't, I don't quite get that. Like, a part of me sitting there going, oh, if we know where it is in the overworld, we can get it. And then a part of me later was like, wait, that's Wild Arms 1, though, not Wild Arms 3. Didn't they change it in Wild Arms 3? So, and then you start asking questions like, did I remember all of this correctly? And, yeah. It gets annoying is what it ends up being. But what you going to do? So, really, what we might want to do first is figure out where north is. That would be help mighty helpful. Um, not one too high. Like I said, we may have found some of this stuff, and I just don't remember. And if we don't find it right away, it's not a big deal. It could, we, we can check later. But I want to grab some stuff that isn't that important. Just as much as it is important. Yeah, see, we came over here earlier and couldn't find it. So now that we have... Son of a bitch. Now that we have this, um, these goodies here, this is all going to work out nicely. So we got a booster kit, which we definitely need. So now what we need are migrant seals. And I believe we want to go this way, back towards, what is it, Little Twister? No, not Little Twister. The Thug Town. Gangster Town. Not that. Let's just do this right. There's a little twister. All right, let's head back to little twister. And there's a migrant seal. Sweet. And then I want to go... And I believe there's one down in here. But... Can't really get in there right now. So we'll have to come back for that one later. Um, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Grab that, but let me think here. Nope. I'm gonna go one more over. There's another one. I believe 
there's two more we can outright reach. And then the well, there's one that's I know down in here, but we can't get to it yet. We'll get to that one later. Um, the other one is way out this way. Down a little bit. And then from here, right down in here somewhere. Yep. Nice. And then we need one more migrant seal. So we're going to head all. So th I'm showing you this stuff, guys, because it's the most important stuff to find by far. Looky there. There's the migrant seal. So there's one more migrant seal out in the overworld, but like I said, we're not going to get to it right now. It's a little too far out. With that said, there's a whole world of stuff to do. And, and so we, I want to do this in some kind of recognizable order to some degree of as far as importance goes. So one of the things I want to do is, well, I guess we could just we're going to do this in a very particular order. So what's the most important thing now that we've gotten Migrant Seals and our Booster Kits? Uh, to me, those are far more important than anything else at this current juncture. <laughs> um, and that that is a big commentary. What, what, what else do we need to, to kind of do? Hmm. That is a good question, isn't it? I don't believe we can land in here much as I always want to. I think we still always have to go through that cave. There is something good in here, by the way. But now that we have the uh, thingy, we, you know, we can't get in there right now. I'll just debate in my head if I want to work on that or not. It's not that important, but it is a cool item. Um... Okay, let's go ahead. I guess we'll just do, you know what, we'll do duplicators and money next between the two. I think we'll just do duplicators. No, we'll do money. We'll do money. Money's a little easier to get to most of it. If my memory serves me right. So, if we go over here and then we go a little bit north. I don't want to go too far. Should be... There's a sign. Um, hmm. Okay, then it's down here. Pretty sure. There we go. Ten grand. Nice. The reason I want to get the money is for the weapon upgrades. I'm surprised I have to somewhat explain that. And really quick, didn't we blow a rock up while we were over here? So I was getting frustrated and burnt out. Oh yeah, it was to unlock Dimroot Path. Derp. Okay. Um, <laughs> let us go this way. This way, rather. Or, well, yeah, 
this is this one's closer, I think. And the other one I was thinking of doing too. Just to show you, there's nothing up here. <laughs> there we go. Like I said, I don't remember which one, if you need the item scope or not, but we were searching earlier and could not unlock any of this garbage. So I'm inclined to believe that you need to um, have some. You need to have something because we we searched a lot of this stuff earlier and never found. Could not luck out in finding anything. So I'm one of those people that's pretty reluctant in saying that you're better off just getting the item scope and just not even bother with it. I know this is not where we need to be. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing here. Get it, get in. There we go. <laughs> As I find stuff all over the world. Um, here. We need to deal with this now. As you can see over here. So that has been dealt with. These are coming over here later. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Say from here. A sign. Could have thought there was something here. Be wrong on this one, guys. Let me think. This might be one we've already gotten, too. There isn't anything there. Okay. The next one that I know of, 
I probably got that one earlier. But that's where I get frustrated with this game because it seems somewhat inconsistent to a degree. That there's some things you can find without having to, you know, without the item scope. And then there's stuff that seems like it requires the item scope. And that gets annoying. Again, we must have gotten this one. All right. Well, I'm not going to bother with that. We're going to move on. Uh, I guess we'll get some duplicators. I know this episode's running long. I just want to make sure I get the important stuff. That way you guys know where the good stuff is. Specifically next being the duplicators. Once we get the duplicators, there's more overworld stuff. I'm just going to grab them. That way I don't waste your guys' time. There are little things like Gela cards, Lucky cards... Um, I think there's another grab bag out there. Um, and there's also a coveted few other things. But they're not they're not finite. You can get them in other ways. So the only other fine the only other finite ones are the duplicators and all the grab bags. When I mean finite meaning you can't get you can get other stuff in other ways. Um, so getting the duplicators to me is far more valuable to you guys watching as it is me finding other things like money. You know, even even it's even more valuable over the money to a degree. Um, probably faster if we just go north. And I want to say, There's one around here, damn it. I will not be swayed. You know what I think I did wrong? I think I was right, but I was on the wrong side. Always a pain in the ass. Let me think. What am I missing here? You know, it's probably on the other side. I always thought it was up here, though. But I'm not finding any luck getting getting to it. So, meh. We're running, we're running out of time here, so. <clears throat> Here's what I'm going to do, guys, just to make your life easier. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find the overworld stuff. Uh, because this is going to take quite a while to find everything if I want to find everything. Gatling this bitch. gonna be a rough fight so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and find you you found we found the migrant seals we found most of the money we found a grab bag at random um, see I still kind of want to find the Ooh!
Clive is down. Uh, let's pick up Clive, shall we? There's a whole bunch of little tiny dudes just went berserk on him. Um, but yeah, the, the, the duplicators are the most important thing, but I might make an effort to pick up as much stuff as I can. And like I said, a lot of it is just consumables. Um, but I believe there are six. There's five or six duplicators. There's six. One, two, there's one over by the place we haven't been to yet. Wait, no. That's something else. That's the migrant seal we haven't gotten. Derp. Um, there's six of them. I'm pretty sure there's six of them. And I will go ahead and acquire them because, like I said, the, the duplicators, I believe, in th Wild Arms 3 are finite. So making sure that we get them all is important. Um, but you know what I'll do is if I... If and when I find them, I will give you the coordinates for them. And if I don't find them for some reason, or they're not really, it's not really an area we want to go into yet, because we're not ready to go into said area, I'll let you guys know. Because that's really going to be, ooh, we got a blue bracer, nice. Um, we really want to be very systematic on how we do this. And the duplicators in and of themselves are very relevant, you know what? I bet you it was right there. Nope. And there's one of them right there. So for all that trouble I went through looking for it the first time. But yeah, so th it was there. It was near where we were. Because like I said, when I was younger, I wrote all this down because I was looking for all of these damn places and they were freaking incredibly res insane to find all this stuff. Now, I don't think I've even found everything in the overworld. I'll be honest. Just like any other Wild Arms game, it's pretty hard to find every single thing that you're looking for. So the fact that I even have a few written down is, to me, a big deal. So we're going to heal after that fight because that was a pretty rough fight. So that should give you an idea of the plan here. I'm going to get all the other duplicators, and I'll either show those locations separately, so that way you're not I'm not running around looking for them all the time. Just that way you guys get an idea of where they are, and you don't have to wait. We don't make this episode even longer than it already is. So I'm going to go ahead and, col and collect the duplicators and show you where, I, where they are. Hopefully I can find them all. I think there's only one that might be in an area we don't want to go to, but I don't... But part of my brain is saying that that's not the case. The other part of my brain is saying, yeah, we don't want to actually go over there. Um, but, yeah, all that stuff. And I'm also going to check the secret garden as well. So let me go ahead and get that started. All right, so here's a duplicator at 1811-15805. Here's another uh, duplicator. Check out the coordinates below. Again, check out the coordinates right behind Basker Colony, pretty much. Can't miss it. All right, and we get another duplicator there's another duplicator out there but i don't believe we can reach it until we get a very specific item and i will get we will get that item it's mandatory pretty much anyway for most people's playthroughs and i wouldn't pass up on it either and you'll you'll understand when we get it but anyway um i'm gonna go and grab some more overworld stuff that's kind of out of re that's not as important um like consumable items and stuff that's just not relevant so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and when we come back, guys, we will be making preparations to go and get the last idol, which I'm already worried about. So <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check me out at Jacktard Studios or at twitch.tv slash Jacktard Studios for live gaming action. You can interact with me. We can have lots of fun. I usually play retro and uh, modern R R JRPGs and RPGs and simulation games. Um, Hobo Headcrab is blind playing through some of the uh, great J uh, JRPG classics that he missed out on because he just didn't grow up with them. And we also have, our, and that's on the Hobo Headcrab show. That's once a week. It's usually on Thursdays. Once a month, it's on Friday. Um, and it's usually every other week. So I, I, and we'll get a better schedule out in the future. Uh, that way, uh, coming up, so that way people get a better idea of when we're doing it. And also, we have our chairman of the board, Tabletop Show. So a lot of cool stuff on our Jack Tard Studios Twitch channel that you don't want to miss out on. Anyway, thank you for stopping by, guys. Again, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys next time.